<laughs> it smells like a game in here. <laughs> Hey Tyler, I sent you a shirt, hope you get it soon. Sorry oh. that I haven't been on most streams, money is really tight up in, but I still love you. <sighs> Extra love, Sir Ferry. <laughs> oh, microphone's on. And the microphone's on. <laughs> Shipboard touch. Ah! I don't have a clothes dryer. I don't have a clothes dryer. I don't have a clothes dryer. Please fucking help me. I don't have a clothes dryer. <sighs> Who knew that a website like Funhouse, that a YouTube channel <laughs> like Funhouse, don't get a dryer, get a wetter instead, would be carried by someone like Elise for so many years. I, I didn't watch Funhouse for a really long time because uh, they called me balls deep in denial about something that I was right about. Um, but then I started watching them recently because I kept getting a bunch of recommendations. And uh, yeah, Elise is way funnier than everybody else. It's like, if you go in order of funniest, it's Elise. And then Bruce, rest in peace. Woo! And then John. And then uh, that other one, at least his husband, I don't remember the name of. And then no one else is funny. Nah, Bruce didn't die. He le he left. James, yeah. Uh, but at least it's fucking hilarious. Uh. So, yeah. Woo! That's, so I've just been binging these, like, best of Elise Willems videos. Yeah. So that's what I've been doing today. My dad just walked past and called you a dork. Hey, fuck you, old man! Excuse me! Excuse me! Woo! Fuck Eat. you! Anyways, today we're gonna be working on a video. It's been like two weeks since I made a video. Uh, I have an alternative to making a new Discord server in mind. Figured it'd be the best of both worlds. Please, Coolman, enlighten us. Today we're gonna be making a video. Not a whole video. Today we're gonna be doing the baseline information gathering uh, for a video. It's not super complicated this one it's literally just we have fucking how many how many goddamn we have 42 unreleased valve games we need to number one cut this list down a bit even though i am saying it's every single one of them so i guess i i so even if we do 30 Woo! seconds balls each deep in being right. balls deep in being right I know. 42 times 30 divided by 60, that's still 21 minutes of video. So holy hell, that's a long video. Um, so even if we do 30 seconds on each of these unreleased games, which literally um, just archive all the old channels and make new ones. All right. It's just like I want, I don't know. I want complete control over stuff now, and I kind of want it to be a bit of a dictatorship because I'm fucking sick of some y'all assholes out there, and I'm not uh, not afraid to say it anymore, so if I don't want to be around you, I'm not going to be around you. Fuck off. Uh, I'm going to censor you. Um, play the Japanese Bush Baby cut intro. He re-recorded it with a good mic. He sent me that, yeah. Um, oh no, my gaming words. Oh no, my gaming words. Exclamation point donate in the chat. We moved to this house. <laughs> and it took two months for us to get our washer and dryer installed. So we had two months without a washer and dryer. So, and then we had a month with a washer and dryer. And then the dryer broke. And we still don't have a working dryer. I haven't washed my clothes in six months. 
I'm kidding. I just wash them and then they're wet and I hang them and it takes fucking forever for them to dry. Um, but exclamation point donate in the chat. Help me buy a dryer, goddammit. Why won't you help? Why won't you help? Why won't you help? Please. Find it in your heart to help. So that I could buy a fucking clothes dryer. I send trade, I help. Okay, so what we have to do is just decide on um We need to decide on uh, what bits of information we're gonna use. Help this man out. Uh, Twitch Prime is free for each of these videos, so uh, each of these games. So first thing I'm gonna do is mark like around the time that the game was canceled. So this is like 2009. It's like 2009. It's like 99. It's like 2000. It's like 2001. 2002. Yes. Space Marines. 2005. Today the enemy is at our door. Oh we shit! We know our duty and we will do it. We fight for our honor as Blood Ravens. God damn it, Reno! Marines and we fight in the name of the Emperor. Reno! That's a chicken! Yes. Halfway there. Jesus, Reno. Are you like secretly super wealthy because like? You're the guy that, like, gifts subs 20 to 50 subs a day. Hold on. Jesus, I gotta tell Electra we're actually getting one. <laughs> Come here right now. Come here right now. I have amazing news. Come here right now. You just, if you're not here in the next 20 seconds, I'm breaking up with you. Come here right now. Okay. Um, it's his mom's credit card. Um, no, I've been watching a lot of Funhouse, and seeing Elise's and James' relationship makes me all happy because it reminds me of me and Electra's relationship. And it's funny because I saw this clip of Elise be like, the only bad dream, I, I keep having bad dream where, where my husband leaves me and it's like, me too. So, come here, come here, come here, come here. Please. No. Please. No. Please. So I put up a, I, I started this stream 10 minutes ago, right? And I put a, a donation goal for $400. And the name of the donation goal is all caps, I don't have a dryer, comma, help. We're already at $300. <laughs> yes! You have to thank them! Dry clothes! You say you have spicy butt? Yeah. Did you eat gluten? No. So Electra has a gluten allergy. Like a really bad one. Um, and no doctors have ever, like, been helpful with it. Well, that's not true. One was. And we never went to Cleveland for the gluten allergy. No doctor has ever been healthy with it. And she's like, do I have Crohn's? Do I have celiacs? Is it just a thing? And so there's one food in particular. It's this, it's called pizza bread. It's literally just like thick pizza crust with really good marinara sauce on it. No cheese or anything. And it's vegan and you can get it delivery. And I'll sometimes get it, and Electra would be like, I'll be like, don't eat it, don't eat it. She'll just like, I'm just gonna have one. So she eats a slice, and then we'll be talking about something, and she'll try and play to the fact that I'm super oblivious and don't pay attention sometimes. And she'll just she'll just get up and come back with another slice and just pretend like it's the first slice. And I'll be like, is that your second slice? She'll be like, no. You're like, it's not your second slice. She's like, no, it's my third. And then, then she'd be like, it's fine, it's fine, but I know, I know. true, it's time for a dryer. I know well enough, thank you DMND Dylan for the $4. I know well enough that in 12 hours, I'm gonna hear screaming from the bathroom. I'm gonna be like, what's going on? Like, she's just like, I have spicy butt. <laughs> I have spicy butt. And then she gets Ooh. mad at me. She's always like, Tyler, why would you let 
me eat this. Why would you let me eat this? Yes. And she blames me. My balls are so itchy. Oh my god. Oh, ginger lie. They are so itchy. The Wolfie and Gamer ate for the $7.42. Thank you. It's like, let. <laughs> Don't blame me for your bad habits. I don't blame you for being fat. I don't blame you for me. I, it's not your fault I'm fat. It's my mom's fault. Anyways, I uh, just wanted to get Electra down here out of bed. Cause she's a little lazy butthole. You're lazy. You're lazy. <laughs> when will you learn? <laughs> Your actions have consequences. Anyways, we're gonna be uh, just gathering up information that we're gonna be using for you see my text? the video. Yeah. Oh, did I? I replied to your. When will men get it? Like, when will men understand the messaging that I put in my tweet? No, I swear. Whenever people like, whenever men post a picture of their girlfriend, it's like they choose like, the ugliest picture of their girlfriend. I give Electra some massive compliments she didn't even ask for on Twitch, on Twitter, and she's still upset! I don't want you to post pictures of me. If you are a woman, check your trades. I am not a woman, but I will check my trades. Wow! 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 Hello, everybody. It's Tyler from Valve News Network here today, and I just want to try and get my very attractive and amazing fiance on stream. Uh, but she's just gonna sit on the stairs over there with her Golden Girls t-shirt looking super cute, not sharing that cuteness with anybody other than me. So I guess... Oh, giraffe. Did you see that message I sent you about how you have a mom? Oh, yeah. You were, you, you were birthed out of a rice maker? You don't have a mom or something like that? I just realized there's a giraffe back Hi, there. Tyler. Thanks for I'm the three. I'm finally getting my index after 12 weeks hey! of waiting and you still haven't done the beginner's guide to VR hey! video. So what should be my first of VR games? I try VR version. The lab. Love ya. The lab. Sneak your home. After hand labs. Moon dust. Uh, Pornhub has a really good VR app. Um... It's your own fucking. So yeah, the balloonicorn has a giraffe friend now. I guess I didn't even realize it was back. Back. Yeah. I don't have a mom. I came out of a rice maker. I don't have a mom. I came out of a rice maker. Yeah. Well, I came out of a uh, dick tip. Okay. Bye. I love you. Can I have a hug? Nope. Fuck off. So here's something I've been doing lately. Before we get started with the, the point of today's stream, we're gonna wait for some people to file in. Um. I've been installing a lot of games I want to play. Yo. Oh, I also have Gilded installed. I'm going to close that for right now, because I get... These are all the games I installed. Look at all these games. Uh, and I'm going to be playing through some of them to figure out if any of them will work on the half like video. Um, read my trade message. Okay. Hey Tyler, I sent you a shirt. My nuts are so sweaty, please come over here and fix it, Babby. All right, uh, send me an address. Thanks for the five, Wolfie. Uh, we've got $100 left for a dryer. Hey, I sent you a shirt. Also, if there's time left, play a round of MVM with me. Not tonight, but maybe. Uh, I closed the PO box. Ron Man 32 Hey Tyler, you said something about Open Fortress the other day. Should we be concerned? Should we boycott the game or no? No, have fun with it. I'm not going to tell people to not play it, but I, uh, I want people to understand that um, uh, I just don't want to... I'm not publicly supporting bullshit anymore. I'm just not... Like, whether it be because of racist teammates or, or people just not giving a shit about, you, you know... <sighs> it's like, oh... This person is secretly a clan member. Well, it doesn't affect their performance, so it should be fine. Yeah, but they're secretly a clan member. Maybe we shouldn't support, like, maybe we, they shouldn't be on the team. Maybe the fact somebody's a clan member. I'm not saying somebody on Open Fortress is a clan member. I'm just saying that has happened to me. Um, 
you know, it's just bullshit. I'm so fucking sick of community teams right now. And I'm just in a bad mood. And it's totally like, you know, I'll get over it soon. But, um, it's like, oh my God. There's so, so, okay. I was recently thinking about this. Why can't community projects ever fucking survive? It's so fucking rare for a community project of any kind to get past the teaser trailer, look at these cool screenshots phase. You know, let's reap a bunch of, um, of, uh, of karma or whatever, like internet attention, and then disappear before we ship anything. Why is it that, like, no matter what community you're talking about, every single project is going to fall apart? Why is that? Well, I've come to learn that it partly has to do with the fact that most people on community projects are teenagers. Uh, most people on community projects are between the age of 13 and 20. Yes. Sweaty nuts, 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 SW. Hope you're all right. But like most community members are people that are still in school that are like burgeoning game developer type people, right? And the good ones. The level-headed ones get jobs! <laughs> they get a job! So you either have, so what'll happen is the good ones will be hired and have to leave the team, obviously, because they got a job. And so you're left with the shitty ones and the young ones. And so you find that a lot of these younger males, because I've ne like, look, I have worked, I have interacted with many, many, many teams. Never once have I ever had a problem with a female community member. Ever. 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 I have never once been told by a female, you're censoring me? <laughs> it's always, so I've been told you're censoring me a couple of times. Every single time it's in it's it's a it's a it's a dude under the age of 18. <sighs> so yeah, I'm just getting pissed. So like like you have different types of uh, communities that fall apart. You have the infighting shit where, you know, the responsible people might have an idea for a direction and then the less responsible people don't like the idea for the direction and instead of like trying to be responsible or, or mature about it it just that like it's a deadlock because they can't uh you know stop arguing about it a great example of that is team fortress 2 classic decides we're gonna split the deathmatch portion of the game off into its own thing called Team Deathmatch Classic, and a bunch of the TF2C people that were like, we don't like that, just broke off and made Open Fortress because they didn't like the decision that was made to break off the, to break that into two different things. And now Open Fortress is uh, not open. It's not open. I don't know why they call themselves Open Fortress. You know, what? I'm gonna talk about it. Fuck it. I'm so fucking pissed about this. Because I've brought it up to them so many times. Um, and I want them to do something about it. Because it's going to bite them in the ass. It just will. Right? So Open Fortress is something like... There are many open game, Open Morrowind. Open Roller Coaster Tycoon. There are open games out there. And the idea of what an open game is is a reverse engineered project to allow for an open code base to exist. Uh, and it's done by very talented, very respected uh, community members of that game to allow for expansion, source porting, that kind of thing, um, um, to, uh, uh, for different games that people really like. Uh, an excellent example, of course, is Open Morrowind. Um, you know, Open uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon is another big one. Uh, I saw that people were doing Open Dune, 
there's some really good ones out there. So Open Fortress is called Open Fortress. So you would assume that it's that same vein of, um, of project. Now, sometimes, um, you know, well, I'll just take a look at this. Open, let's just, you know, Open Fortress. There's openfortress.fun. This is where you can... It's a free and open source passion project. It's open source. Really? It's open source. Let's take a look at the source code on GitHub. So the source code for Open Fortress is publicly hosted. You can go look at it right fucking now. So here's the source code. Okay, so, Team Fortress. Well, um, here's the problem. They're all Valve. It's all Valve content. It's either Valve, it's, it's just Valve content. This isn't reverse engineered stuff. This is just leaked code from Valve, including Nextbot, which just leaked. <laughs> That leak that people blamed me for, that's from this. Next bot, uh, and then you have the actual Open Fortress specific code. Um, yeah, uh, and it's still labeled as Valve. So let's, this is the client. Let's go to server because there's something that really pisses me off about this. Um, they added Halloween bots in a recent update. Um, and it's literally just copy-pasted code from Team Fortress 2 from the recent leak. And they call it open, open source. And it's all just Valve stuff. It's all just Valve stuff. Uh, like... And then a lot of the stuff that's labeled as Open Fortress isn't actually original completely. Like, oh. Uh, oh. Uh. So I brought this up to them. And I was like, look, you can't, you can't fucking do this. And they're like, oh, well, it's this other guy, Fycool. It Fycool did it. We didn't know that Fycool did it. I'm like, oh, okay. And then they're like, we'll tell Fycool to remove it. And they still haven't removed it. And then I brought it up even further to them, and then I was just straight up told, no, fuck it, we're gonna just keep it. Like, other projects use leaked code. <sighs> Guys, you're given everybody a bad name in the community and you're mislabeling the code where's the stuff as about open. the it's not games, open. You <sighs> so they don't seem to think it's a problem and uh don't call yourself open if it's not an open sourced project you don't you don't own the code. Fucking... Bleh. So... Why go through the work of re-implementing the code if we already have it? That would just be a waste of time. They don't have the license to use it. They don't. They're gonna get DMCA'd. The whole project is gonna get taken down. Eventually. So, I don't know. Right. Good night, everyone. Thoughts in the Half-Life restored mod that just came out? Mm. I don't know anything about it. It's just shit like this makes um, everybody in the community look really bad. And um, did I tell Valve about it? Not yet. Um, I, I said I will. I did tell them that I would if they didn't do anything about it. And they are sure that Valve won't care. So... Mm. 
Yeah, so it just pisses me off. And I'm sure I'm gonna get some shit um, about it. Uh, but fuck it, I don't care anymore. I'm not supporting bullshit projects in this community anymore. I'm just not. <sighs> not, I don't, as far as I'm aware, nobody on Open Fortress was a member of the clan. We found, I, somebody on another team that I was associating with was. There's this fucking community, it's just, I can't associate with community projects and I just can't I just can't um because everybody's just whoo, being dumbasses all the time and it's driving me nuts mm. people are either doing illegal shit uh very entitled illegal shit or people are just being super fucking racist all the time and then if you ever try and like tell people like hey maybe don't be racist i'm not being racist okay okay fine i guess not just please don't use these words well you're censoring me okay i'm off the team then why are you leaving the team literally i had a conversation with somebody on uh one of the teams that I worked on where I was told that I was being racist for telling somebody else not to use the word tranny because their argument was in my country, this word isn't looked down upon like it is in your country. So you're just putting American imperialism on my shoulders. I called that person that word because they deserved to be called it. And in my country, I can get away with it because people, and it's just like, mm, mm, mm. okay, okay, okay. I'm obviously not gonna change your mind on anything. Uh, <sighs> so <laughs> so uh yeah it's not just a valve community problem it's an everywhere community problem why do you enjoy this drama it's not necessarily that i'm trying to it's just <laughs> like do you know how difficult it is to like try and balance all that stuff, like try and support community teams to get things done so that the community has things to play, where at the same time you're also like completely putting your career on the line by just letting things slide. Fuck that. Oof. So, yeah, I'm um, sure I'm gonna get, I'd like, I should. <laughs> Every time I ever vent about things that I've experienced in the community, I get people very angry uh, trying to defend the actions of the things that have occurred. Uh, the Open Fortress stuff is just illegal bullshit, and they shouldn't be doing it, and I've called them out on it a couple of times, and they're, they have no interest in changing it. Um, and so there's, others, there's other claims that, that have been uh, leveraged against Open Fortress that they vehemently and openly deny. So I'm not going to talk about those. Uh, my issues with Open Fortress is you're just running off of leaked Valve code and you're introducing newer and newer leaked Valve code without permission and you're going to get DMCA'd. So if you want your project to continue and be healthy and be a good uh, example of what the TF2 community can do, maybe don't do that and they don't. Like they put Nextbot in their stuff. Like Valve still uses Nextbot. <sighs> okay, anyways. Uh, yeah. No, it's not like it's dangerous to you. Keep playing it. I'm not going to tell you to stop playing it. I'm just telling you... Um, the dev I've, I've told the developers many times that they need to stop doing what they're doing. And uh, I've been told multiple times uh, that they there's no problem with what they're doing. So... 
Yeah. Uh, I've not directly told uh, Liam, the Valve attorney. Uh, I have a dossier written up, and I will be sending it to the Valve attorney uh, if things don't change uh, anytime soon, or if they haven't made any kind of uh, thing to, to have change. And the thing that I don't want to see them change is change their name to something like Deathmatch Fortress or something, and then just pull the code from off being offline, but they just keep using it. Um, yeah, so I'm not. Oh, they won't get. Yeah, they'll get. C, they'll get C and D. It's Valve. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, I am probably going to be showing some support to like Team Fortress 2 Classic or um, Team Deathmatch Classic, and they're going to think that it's just because you know, oh, it's our competition. You're just trying to do some bullshit with that. No, because I'm not publicly talking about any of that bullshit, so... Uh, anyways. Anyways, let's talk about a couple other things before we get started with the main purpose. I would like to... Take some questions. So just send me some questions. Any news on Day of Defeat 2? No, and it's been out of production for years. Uh, I think they may be able to make a new video about TF2 spin-off games. It's been a while since they had an update, I think. Make it TF2 spin-off games. Uh, maybe. Why do you want to delete the Discord server? I don't want to delete the Discord server. I want to start over. Um, I, when I started trying to raise money for... Black Lives Matter protests and things. Uh, I started getting a lot of shit about it. Um, and at first I was like nervous because I was like, oh, I'm gonna lose my viewers. I'm gonna lose my audience. And then I, stepped, st I took a step back and I realized, oh, I'm weeding out the toxic people. <laughs> so this is actually not a bad thing because me being open about you know, wanting to try and help people and things and, and all that. I can tell who's toxic by, like, the arguments that are being leveraged against me, right? So it's like, oh, okay. Sh okay, cool. But the thing is, up until now, the moderating policy and some of the moderators, one in particular, um, really don't want to police that kind of stuff that's probably that's a terrible word to use they don't want to um at tyler mcvicker thanks for clarifying they don't want to uh censor people there are people that you know so i want to reboot the server completely start over have to you have to join again the reason i want to reboot it altogether is because i want people to have to agree to the new conduct policy because i don't want people being like well when i joined the rules were yada 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 these new rules I didn't agree to, that kind of bullshit, right? So I'm going to be rewriting the conduct policy for both moderators and uh, community members. And they're going to be very strict. They're going to be very defined and strict because right now they're very loose uh, and very generic and, and very unspecific. Um, and so I just want to be able to let people know that hate speech of any kind is not allowed. And the definition of hate speech, I come up with it. This is my server, this is my community. Is that a dictatorship? I don't fucking care. <laughs> um, I define what is and isn't against the rule on my server. And so if you don't like it, sorry. Um, and part of that has to do Part of that has to do with the fact that I just don't want toxic people in my community. I, I, okay, let me redefine that. I don't want people with a significantly different political ideology than I have on my server. Period. Um, and I'm not going to try and sugarcoat that, you know. Oh, you're censoring me. Oh, you're, you're you know, whatever, leaning. I don't care. <laughs> I don't fucking care. It's to the point where, like, I've been... Um, I've been, uh, 
argued against by the opposite end of the spectrum on these community teams so often that I'm just going to use their kind of uh, attitude and language and way of going about things against them. Fight fire with fire kind of stuff. You know? Oh, you're censoring me. Oh, but you're taking away my First Amendment right to control this. So... You're censoring my ability to censor. Get off my server! <laughs> so, you know... Just, you know, use the kind of tactics that those people use against them. And so when I sit down and I rewrite the rules and everything, I'm going to be keeping that in, in mind. And a big reason why I'm doing that is because I want to do a lot with Team Fortress 2. But for some reason, it seems like the English-speaking Team Fortress 2 community in modern day... I don't know what the fuck happened, but it got super fucking toxic. Holy shit. Holy shit. I have no idea what fucking happened, but shit got bad. Um, so... Uh, I just kind of want to, you know, make make a, I guess the word would be safe space. You know, if you don't like safe spaces, you don't have to be here. But the world is fucking insane. So, I'd like to have a place that is super positive and happy and very accepting of, of all kinds and colors and people and, and stuff. Um, because people need an escape from all this bullshit. But at the same time... Opinions on Valve content in Smash oh my Brothers. God. I don't like Smash... Thank you for the subscribe. Fucking hate Smash Brothers. Um... Yeah, it's like... It's really complicated, and my wording makes it seem kind of hypocritical, but then again... It's my server! So who fucking cares? Yeah, so like, oh, I want to be accepting of everybody, but I'm kicking people that have a different political ideology than what I have. Yeah. Accepting everyone, but bigots that use straw men to get away with their bigotry. Accepting of almost everyone. How about that? Fuck you for not liking Smash. I'm sub subbing and destroying your new dryer. I just don't. I just don't. I've tried for years to get into that. Paradox of tolerance. Look it up. Oh, okay. Where's the canceled Valve stuff? Ask me a couple more questions. What dryer is Tyler buying? I don't know. To be tolerant, you must be intolerant to intolerance. I have no problem if you're a Smash Brothers fan. In no way am I going to be like, oh, you like this game. Get the fuck out of here. It's just I'm allowed to not like games. I love most of the games you probably love. Except Smash. <sighs> you hear anything about TF2 aside from fixing bot stuff? Yes. Um... Number one, I got confirmation that that dumbass, um, that tweet that got cycled around of somebody's like, oh, I just heard of this ice themed Jungle Inferno major update thing. I got in contact with that guy and he's like, oh, it's completely fake. So that's not real. Um, woo! however, I, I have just heard... jumped into you calling out bigots, speak your shit, King Black, trans live matter. And if you don't think so, you're a loser. See, I also don't know when people are, <laughs> oh, you deserve dry clothes. <laughs> I don't know when people are being parody. I don't know when people are like pushing that whole, like, oh, fuck certain types of people so far that they're just trying to like make fun of me. I am hearing they're working on a crate. Oh, excuse me. A case. And that's pretty much what you're going to be seeing for the next 10 years, is just... Oh, look! More meme hats! Not even good hats! M meme hats! You like- you like JoJo's? You like- you like the Mercs, but FAT?! I don't like modern TF2 hats. I don't like modern TF2 hats. Fucking hate modern TF2 hats, my man. How many fucking beanies? 
do we fucking need in the game? Seriously, how many beanies? Jill, Jill, you must love beanies because that's all we get anymore are beanies. Jesus Christ, why, do, if this is so easy, if you, if this is what you want to do, it's just cosmetic, where the fuck are the fucking war paints? There are so many good war paints out there, man. I want more war paints. I want more war paints. The only beanie that I will accept from right now onward is a beanie that looks like it's made out of baked beans. Okay. I also don't understand why you can't just introduce a map or two, but whatever. Oh, and for those that are wondering, I quit creators.tf because uh, we can't make an agreement on what is allowed and not allowed for a, a conduct policy for individual in, uh, members. So, and because I'm essentially the guy that's the face of it, I'd like to be able to kick bigoted people off, but whatever. Um, I saw Mirror's Edge in your library at the beginning. How do you like it? I played Mirror's Edge years ago. I was still living at my parents back when I first played it. Um, and I don't remember much yes. about it. That wasn't a joke, sir. Black trans lives matter. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Um, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm excited for this, man. I'm super excited for that. Biggest Jonas, love you, dude. You're cool. Tyler, please take my meat. I beg you. Dude, I beg you too. Did Tebow and Kai have the potential to be a tier? A, oh. I missed. The, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Anyways. Um, yeah, so I'm working on taking a look at a bunch of uh, games that seem to be half like uh, possibilities. Alien Isolation is not one of those. I've just heard from many, 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 many people that this game is fucking awesome. So I'm definitely going to be playing that. Medieval isn't, but I mean, I love New Blood. Who doesn't love New Blood? <clears throat> Arx Fatalis isn't. I've yet to play it. Bioshock Infinite isn't. It's only installed because I still need to play Ep2. Uh, my friend recreated CTF Double Cross in a fantasy style. Want to see a pick? Hell yeah. Try Outer Wilds. I'm already, I'm already playing it. Been playing in quite a bit of it. Blood Fresh Supply uh, is not one, but I've really, I've just, I really like that game. Bullet Storm Four Clip Full Clip Edition pro is probably not like Half Life, but I just wanted to try it. I really haven't played it yet. Um, this, of course, this uh, Counter Strike Condition Zero deleted scenes is going to be on the list because a lot of people don't really give that game a chance. Doom Three BFG is on the list. Doom VFR is for another video. It's ass. I hate it. This game is so bad. Dusk is just fucking amazing. Estranged Act 1, I have yet to play. Fear is on the list. However, I've yet to play it. I just know that it's on the list. Far Cry 3, we are going to I'm going to try that one because I've heard it's the best one out of all of them. Hard Reset Redux. I played it for two minutes yesterday and was like, holy shit, what is this? I had never played it, and after two minutes, like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, what is this? This looks awesome, and immediately was put on the list. This game, I can tell, is is going to be really, really good. Uh, Heretic Hexen, Hexen. Ion Fury is on the list. Killer7 is not on the list. However, I still want to play it. Uh, Mag Runner is not on the Half-Life list. It's on the Portal list. Metro series is on the list. Mirror's Edge is on the portal list. Nightmare Reaper is not on the list. This, I don't know why this is in the FPS dynamic collection. This is a weird game, <clears throat> but I'm actually enjoying it. I don't, it's like, it, it's really weird. Outer Wilds is phenomenal, but it's not Half-Life. Overload is six degrees of freedom. Pathologic 2, I'm hearing is a lot like Bioshock. Portal, Portal 2, Prey is obviously on the list. Project Warlock, I played a little bit of it earlier. Nothing like. Quake 4 is on the list. Return to Castle Wolfenstein's on the list. Uh, Rise of the Triad is not. The Stalker series is. 
Uh, singularity is. Sin is. Uh, System Shock 2, I might be. Titanfall 2 is. Um, and yeah, if you have any other ones that you think should be on the list. Resistance 3, which is on the PlayStation, is. Um, what about Fear? Yeah, Fear's on the list. Duh. Zoosh. Alien Isolation gave me constant nightmares through my entire playthrough. Please play it on stream. <laughs> Please, we want to see you. <laughs> we want to see you suffer. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah. So I've really been getting. I've just been enjoying playing games. Just playing new games. It's something that I never really allowed myself to do previously because I was just so like invested in everything Valve related. And it was just like, oh, Valve didn't make that. Fuck that. But there's so many great games out there that I just, you know, like an asshole I wasn't paying attention to. Alpha Protocol, I, I do want to play that. I don't think it's anything like Half-Life. This is a game, The Isle. This game looks pretty fun. It's like a dinosaur survival thing. It's like Ark Survival Evolved, but not shit. You guys asked me and my brother to play Monopoly together on stream. We're going to do that soon. I got Monopoly here. This game here, Monster Train. This game looks fucking fun, too. These are some of the games I got. Why is Painkiller not in the FPS list? What the fuck? Why is Painkiller not in the FPS list? Last I checked, that's an FPS. Why is Risk of Rain 2 not in the FPS list? What the fuck? <clears throat> Have I played the Dark Mod? I have not. Slay the Spire, SpongeBob, Jedi Fallen Order. Um, yeah, I did get this. Nakey Jakey recommended this one to me. So I'm going to play it. Risk of Rain ain't an a FPS. Risk of Rain 2 wasn't first person. Oh. You into board games? Fuck yes, I am. Is the Doom board game any good? I've been meaning to ask. Is the Doom board game any good? Okay. Half-Life loot. That's 98. This is 2008. This is 2007. This is 2007. 2007. Yo! Thanks for the dry, Tyler. Better start using the sun to dry your clothes. Yeah, I hope so. Thank you for the 15. Gadget Man 3. Like the Richard Ayoade show? I like Richard Ayoade a lot. Half-Life 3 2015. I wonder what, what year that was cancelled. Citadel. It's 20, uh, 2018, technically. That's 2002. 2017. Uh, it's 2018, 2005, 2014, uh, it was probably 2004, I think. That, that one I'm not entirely sure on. <clears throat> Portal VR, that's 2017. Half-Life RPG, that's 2014. Fantasy RPG, that's 2012. Value Gods 2020, Half-Life Tactics, that's 2016, T-Bone Kai, it's 2001, 2015, that's 90, it's 2000, I think. Submarine Game, that's 1997, 97, 99, it's 2000. That came out, the Ritual one came out, doesn't count. Oh, it's not Ritual, it's Rogue. And also, th that doesn't need to be mentioned. Half-Life Mac port, no. Artifact set to 2019? Yeah. Alien Swarm 2, that's 2012. Alien Swarm VR, that's 2015. Left 4 Dead Augmented Reality, it's 2013. Terror Strike, it's 2005. Okay. Uh, has there been any new Left 4 Dead 2 info, or is it the same as last time? Same as last time. All right. How do I send you items? Exclamation point. Train the chat, my man. So now what we're going to do is put this in chronological order. This is such a good song. so good that I skip it. All right. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> mm. 
Glad to hear you are liking the Outer Worlds. Hi. It's in my top 10 indie games so far. You mean Wild? You think you might stream some of it before you beat it? I don't know. Uh, I love Outer Worlds as well. Outer Wilds is weird. Thank you. I'm gonna I'm actually yeah I'm not gonna just to save time we're gonna remove the different TF2s other than invasion because there's uh it's a lot of them it's essentially just different variations of the same video as a game, excuse me. Uh, Actually, that doesn't need to be mentioned or like I know what I'll do with that one. Yo. Have you played Resogun PS4 release game? No. I'm playing it while listening to the stream. Shout out to Mirror's Edge of the best games. Mirror's Edge turned 10 years old recently. Really? No, I've not played Resogun. Is it good? Mm. I've heard of it, but... Uh, was the Xbox TFC just a port? No, it was like a combination of TF2 and TFC. Um, but I don't really have a whole lot of information on it. And I'll just... I know what I'm going to do with that. Okay, so from Counter-Strike 2... You can go probably Terror Strike, and then Team Fortress 2, Invasion. Well, actually, hold on. We're gonna put that here. We're gonna put, oh. We're gonna put that, oh, here. Fuck, what the? Okay, this is gonna be the Fairy RPG, and then Terror Strike, and then yeah, Invasions there. And then where can I send you TF2 items? Exclamation point trade in the chat. Which reminds me, we should check. Oh, damn. Meat. On that meaty note, what are your opinions of H3 VR? The weapons are so realistic that it's overwhelming to me at times, but I love Anton so much. You like beanies? Keep doing what you do. Hey, man, thanks. Thanks for these rust beanies. I don't play rust, though. Is it good? Never gotten into it. Ronman32. Hey, Tyler. Sorry for standing in open, for starting an open fortress rant. Thanks for the info. No problem. Love you. Have a good stream. Enjoy the items. Thanks. Thank you very much. 
very nice of you. All right, so after Terror Strike, you have like the canceled third party episodes. So I'm just gonna put down Half-Life 2 canceled episodes. I did hear once that there were more tech demos planned in the realm of Lost Coast. Uh, but I really have no way of proving that statement, so that, that's not going to go in the video. So that, you know, all of these. Yeah, so the cancelled uh, Half-Life 2 episodes, and then you can obviously, the cancelled, you know, third-party episodes. And then you've got... Uh, Half-Life 2, Episode 3. Fart. You got F-Stop, Stars of Blood, Slash Baranthium. Baranthum. And then... Half-Life 3. And then the fantasy RPG. <laughs> yep. And then Day of Defeat 2. Why does it do that? I hate that. And Half Light. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Half-Life RPG, and then uh, Half-Life 3 2015. Yo. Hey Tyler, your reports are very good. Thank you. Thank you for your hard work. I haven't been working that hard lately, but I'm trying to get back into it. Oh shit. No, it would go, like, right here. Alien Swarm update thing. And then I'll mention the VR game there. Uh, that doesn't need to be mentioned. You got... Half-Life Tactics. Left 4 Dead 3. Portal VR. Uh, Left 4 Dead VR. Um, we're going to remove the Kerbal VR game because I honestly don't know what they were doing. Um, You got... Citadel Artifact Set 2 in the Valley of Gods. Alright. Coolio. So, um, let me think, make sure I have everything there. Sent Trade. Ooh. What's the fairy RPG and submarine game? We'll get to it. That's what we're doing here. Thank you, God. God, you should know. You're God. I can't seem to be focused. I can't seem to get focused on my bachelor degree final project. Any tips to get motivated? Jumping jacks. Go do some jumping jacks. All right. <clears throat> well, uh, they tried a couple things for Portal VR. The first, like, I remember hearing that they tried... Uh, third person for a while. I remember hearing that they tried uh, F-stop for a while. I heard they tried the paint gun for a while and just doing like um, the canceled purple gel uh, and just doing like MC Escher like interiors and things. Um... <laughs> like a moss. New dryer incoming. Yo! Hell yeah. Thank you very much. We're getting a dryer, boys. Alright, so now what we're gonna do 
is essentially write like a little paragraph summary of each of these um, and then sources that can be used so this is the valve archive my buddy JC runs it um, so here's all the T-Bone Kai stuff that we not T-Bone Kai Here's all the Prospero stuff that we have. Oh, look, it's a texture from Prospero. Yeah, so. That's pretty much everything we know about it. Valve Time did a really good video on it. Yep, 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 yep. <sighs> uh. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, so Prospero is pretty easy. Half-Life loot, though, um, there's an interview about that. The submarine game. I need to find that interview. Valve's Team Fortress first official iteration of TF2 started in 97 when Robin was hired. Basic structure similar to that of Quake Team Fortress. The ideas of realism and uh, Complex team structures take shape with none of the command. Okie dokie, Half Life Three Wave, a cancelled. Multiplayer. read this? Can you see this? Yeah? Alright. What's the word? I guess battles.
Um, do you know what's really concerning to me? That I just know this. That this is just me. Just I don't have to look anything up. This is this is so my life. This is like the definition of who I am as an individual. That I just just I just know all of this. I don't know the trade offer. Exclamation point trade in the chat if you want to be able to send one. Ooh. You can take this. Thank you. And keep up the good work. I'll try. It's your job to be fair. Tyler, do you find Valve uh, one of the best companies? Compared to other companies, of course. Uh, but they can be significantly better than they are right now. I don't have this penguin, I don't think. I don't have most of this stuff. Pocket Pyro. NG Gun. Yeah, I like the penguin. Damn. How much is that penguin worth? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. It's worth more than that. I like it's an all-class penguin. I mean, come the fuck on. All right, T-Bone Kai. The Z box. Hey Tyler, yeah. nine months. Did you catch the Crowbar Collective stream with a lot of dev commentary on the game? Definitely not a mod for them, Kappa. No, I didn't. I'll have to watch.
Yo. Yes. <sighs> yeah, so I don't know if you know this, but you just look this up. You just go boop, 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 boop. This is Team Fortress 2 Invasion's source code right here. The entire thing. You can build it and play it right now. You would just need to remake literally all the assets. Even though the majority of these assets are, are Half-Life 2 holdovers and stuff. And, and, fun fact, a lot of the designs of the Mercs, the TF2 Mercs, were actually reused. So there's Soldier. The humans were reused. There's Engineer... Medic was also identical. And there's Medic. They just literally... They're just like, eh, just reuse them. Fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> Pyro was the same at this point. Like, a lot of what was held over was the same. Some people say that's Scout. I don't, I don't see it. We actually have quite a bit of uh, reference for what this game looked like. So if somebody truly wanted to remake that version of the game, you probably could. Really, really cool chef. Stuff. There's an actual model to paint over. That's an actual map screenshot, by the way. Just paint it over. And then you have the aliens versus humans stuff, which is hideous. There's the Brotherhood of Arms stuff. The heavy is different, obviously. This is the pyro. And then, also, there's, um... We actually found this out very recently. There's this stuff called the Space Marine game. This is actually TF2. I think Robin confirmed that this was TF2. So there's that. Wow, I'm writing a lot. 
I'm writing way more than I expected. How many iterations of TF2 were there? Well, I mean, calling all the invasion stuff an iteration is, is disingenuous because it really wasn't like that. It, it just kind of evolved over time. Uh, there were three major iterations. Brotherhood of Arms, Invasion, Retail, and then, you know, Valve Steam Fortress and Brotherhood of Arms were kind of the same thing. They just, like, evolved over time. Um, and then, then you had, you know, Rome, Vis Rome, Aliens vs. Humans, Space Marine, Invasion. Those are all kind of the same thing. You know. In the fairy RPG, there's very little. Yeah, Terror Strike is really cool. We do have some pictures of it. Um, The, 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 see, the, the closer we get to modern day, the more information I have on everything and the more difficult it's going to be to summarize it in such a short period of time. So I'm, a, I'm like, you know, so for the canceled third party episodes, you have Arcane, Junction Point, Mo Monolith, Gear, Box, EA. Yeah, I don't have time to talk about all of these. Like, going into all of those would take out like an hour.
This is actually going to be a good video now that I'm typing this out. Look at my medication. That's the sound of life-saving medication. Did you hear that there's a coronavirus medication that costs $10 to produce, but they're gonna sell it for four grand? Is this even a fun stream? Boy, donate in the chat. Someone give me fifty dollars. Thank you. I could never refuse such a nice requesting for human currency. I will however be linking my HLA collection here for your sins. I asked for $50 and somebody gave me it. Alright, now give me 50 cents. 
Give me 50 bits. Somebody give me 50 bits. <sighs> Reno, you gotta DM me that. You guys ready to learn something really fucking crazy that I'm just gonna drop it like the, like this is something I found out a while ago and I've been very exciting to 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 tell people but I guess I'm just gonna this is how you're gonna learn about it. Yeah, I guess that's out there now. <laughs> no, screenshots don't exist. No. Very little of that project, aside from conversations I've had, exists.
Damn. <sighs> there you go. There's obviously a hell of a lot more that needs to be done with that, but that's good for now. Questions! Because you just learned probably way too much at once, and you probably have a lot of questions. I hope in the Valley of Gods comes back. It's probably not. That team split. Joint Valve Nintendo Project, Half-Life Tactics. Yeah, um, in late 2016, Nintendo of America came to pitch the Switch to Valve, offered them a massive contract if they made an exclusive Half-Life title for the console, and a real-time strategy game in the vein of uh, Halo Wars was being prototyped. Yep. How far did Prospero get? I have no idea. Favorite Capri Sun flavor? I haven't had those in such a long time. How is Prospero similar to Steam? The pocket universes could also launch other games as far as I know. It was kind of weird. It was essentially saying that in the world of Prospero, every game is possible. <laughs> Why are you writing this video? Why aren't you waiting for the final hours of Half-Life Alex? Um, I don't know. Have you ever gotten into superhero comics? No. Why the hell was it called Citadel if it had no IP? I have no fucking clue, my man. Would Tebow and Kai have been a good platformer? Probably not. Top five indie games. Uh, papers, please. Papers, please, papers, please, papers, please, and papers, please. Uh, I haven't watched any of the cyberpunk stuff and refused to. I don't want to know anything about it. Uh, did the Yakuza make Gabe fire the Sega employee? I don't... What? Top 10 cancelled VNN videos? <laughs> I'd rather not. Um... When's a new video on your channel? When is it done? I 
When's the Portal Cake acquisition game review coming? Oh god, I promised that. 2015. Never! Was Laidlaw on HL3 2015? Yes. When do you plan on getting get the new community server up and running? Uh, you mean Discord? I don't know. You still planning three videos a month? Yep. Are you holding out on spicy Valvas news? Yes. Can we go dryer shopping on Steam? On stream? I already have one picked out. Was there a version of the orange box planned for the Wii? No. Any plans to review more Valve beta content? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, of course. Three videos split between each channel. Yeah. Show us the dryer. Uh, I will when it when we have it delivered. Yeah. When did you learn of Citadel being canceled? Uh, I can't tell you that actually. <laughs> can't tell you who told me it. I was about to say it. Uh, is it safe that Val that Prospero influenced the lab? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh, you think you might play more Valve, non-Valve games on stream? Absolutely. Show us your pills. Well, I have two bottles of pills. I have the Gabapentin and the Lexapro. How far in development was the HL, uh, the HL RPG if voice was done? Uh, I really can't, I don't know. I can't answer that question. I've seen some stuff from it, but, um... I can't, con like, I don't know if it was real or not. I know specific things to be real, but I also know other things that I've seen that I can't, that I won't be putting in the video because I don't think they're uh, real. GABA for anxiety? Hell yeah. Is Valve ready to release anything soon within one year? Yes. Um, the Left 4 Dead 2 update stuff, probably. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how would you react to the Source 2 ports of Gold Source games? I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, what's the only thing that we know about the fairy RPG? That it was made before Left 4 Dead and was cancelled because of Left 4 Dead. We really, that's like literally all we know about it. And that it was like an RPG. Yeah. Any new HLVR updates incoming? Yes, photo mode. Photo mode, probably coming soon. Uh, developer commentary, probably coming soon. Uh, and expanded workshop support. I have a lot to say on the workshop. I am not a fan of Valve's workshop implementation, and I'm going to be making a complaint video about that soon. <sighs> yeah, the something weird is about to happen is the Left 4 Dead 2 update. Yeah. V-Mix? I don't know what V-Mix is. Do you think we'll see any Half-Life 3 2015 elements in future Half-Life games? You did in Half-Life Alex. Yeah. Uh, what is the rumored Left 4 Dead 2 update that is being discussed? No one knows. V-Mix is Valve's Source Woo! 2 audio tool. Yo, oh. dude, what up? Yo. Hope you're doing well. I'm good. Hey, Matt. 15 months from Matt. What up, Matt? Uh, yeah, I'm alright. I got posters on my wall of my favorite games. Favorite Mario RPG? Probably Super Mario RPG for the SNES. Any theories on Mike Shapiro's Blast from the Past? Literally none. I have no idea what it is. Uh, especially with Corona. Is your super long history of F-Stop video still in the works? Yes! Yes it is. I was actually working on that a couple days ago. We're about ready to produce. Like, it's pretty... It's pretty close to production, uh... You know. So... Let me just see how many words we're up to now. It's been in the works for like four years. Yes, it has. It's true. Uh... Probably... Uh... Yeah. A little over four years four and a half years at this point started in like January of 2016 so like four and a half years almost exactly yeah we are at uh, 43,000 words on this fucking thing Jesus Christ Jesus Christ did you finish doom 3 no not yet 
Does the Alex RPG have anything to do with the dog collecting maps? Yeah, dog resource gathering was the very first prototype of that game. Yes. There's prominent community members involved. Yeah, that's the 21 person server thing that we found. Yeah. Opinions on future high speed trains in the US? God, I wish we had that. That'd be awesome. Any information on the next operation for CSGO? No. Uh, I know they're working on more co-op strike stuff, and that's about it. After the Left 4 Dead 2 update, would Valve release a new IP or another entry on a staff? I have no idea what they're going to do after the Left 4 Dead thing. Because it's Corona, like, everything is unpredictable right now. Am I screwed to get an RMA right now? No, they're actually pretty good with that even now. I RMA'd my controllers in the midst of the pandemic and got them in like two days. Is there a set release date on final hours? No, uh, but Jeff Keighley like a couple days ago said it was like, we're days away from it. So. <laughs> Do you know about the Left 4 Dead 2 infected HD sculpts? Uh, I think I made a video on it, and I think I was also scolded by the, uh, lawyer at Valve about showing it. So, I don't know. I think I know what you're talking about. Final Hours Watch Party stream? Fuck yeah, are you kidding? Yes. Uh, what do you think the number one thing Valve should change to become more productive? They're actually really, really good with production right now. They're the most productive. I mean, they've always been productive, but they're the most publicly productive I've seen them in, in over a decade. Uh, why was the F-Stop Portal VR prototype shelved? Because one of the major things that F-Stop does, or like the points of it, is how it fucks with uh, perspective and how on a flat computer screen, you can't tell how large an item really is as long as the size remains the same. When you have depth perception because of the, you know, the two eyes in VR, that illusion is completely destroyed. So it just doesn't work. Um, the fun bits that it, that can come out of being able to scale objects and like fuck with player perspective, it doesn't work when you have depth perception. So that was canceled not because oh we're not feeling it or bullshit Valve reasons. That's there's a legitimate game design reason why they they couldn't get it to work. What was Alien Swarm VR like? Um, I'm gonna save that for the video. What was your criteria for a Half-Life? What is, you mean a Half-Like? Uh, it just kind of like continues the spirit of Half-Life in some way, whether that be from a gameplay perspective, uh, atmosphere perspective, that kind of like a, like a mechanical thing. Um, you know, um, and, uh, yeah. Can Greg come back? Yeah, him and I have been talking about doing something again, but uh, we're both very busy. He's doing his uh, his uh, social network thing right now. So, what the fuck was Alien Swarm? It's a game you can play right now. Are you kidding me? It's a it's a Valve game that's free to play and was released in 2010. That is criminally underrated. It's a phenomenal game. Uh, the problem is, you know, Valve released it and then immediately dropped support for it. And so you have this community project, Alien Swarm Reducti Redactive Drop, or, which is amazing, and is essentially doing everything that the original uh, big 2.0 update that they were working on uh, was going to do, right? So you have all of these different campaigns. For example, I know for a fact this campaign was purchased by Valve. I talked to the creator. He told me that Valve straight up purchased it, and they were working on a massive update for it. Um, but they just, when CSGO really started to pick up steam, the majority of the Alien Swarm developers are just like, fuck it, and they left it. Um, what do you attribute the newfound Valve productivity to? Uh, the accountability that being active on social media brings, and the fact they were able to finish a Half-Life game. Really sucks that the coronavirus happened, for many reasons. But if it didn't, uh, things would be a bit different. There would be more things. No, I canceled all the interviews. Alien Swarm was based on a, an Unreal mod. That's true. Do you know how Steam started development? I think. I don't know. 
What happened with Grace Game? They're trying to get funding for it. Yeah, the player scale prototype was f-stop. Because once they realized that um, scale of objects won't work, they then tried a prototype where they could scale the player and try and solve puzzles by picking things up and you wouldn't move. It would just be in one room and you could scale the player size. Yeah. Why'd you end up canceling the interviews? Because I just didn't want to do them. I'm the Valve of YouTube, I guess. <sighs> How did the canceled portal game where you play as GLaDOS work? You would uh, view uh, through the cameras in the chamber. That's all I know about that one. Do I like coffee? No. Yo. Hey, Tyler. Version control for modding HLA sucks right now. Yes. Any word on perforce integration or official version control at all? Uh, no. And you're likely not going to get that. Uh, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of problems with the current implementation of the workshop system within um, Half Life Alex, and that's that's something I would like to do as a video. Uh, but I do want to talk to some of the major mod creators right now and see like what their wishes are for, the, you know. Where'd you get that rip of a Special Edge magazine that was released during Alex's launch? I bought it. There's, there, you can buy magazines online. <laughs> I want Alien Swarm VR. Is that project liter likely dead forever? Yes. All right, um, I'm gonna go. It's been been fun. Thank you for buying a dryer for me. Um, I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, hopefully we can get this video out in the next couple days. Um, and I am going to be publishing a whole bunch of uh, prospective merch designs and I want you all to um, vote on them. Tell me what you want. Uh, Ram Shop, hope we can talk more soon. Yeah, you too, man, text me whenever. With Citadel set in the Half-Life universe, they didn't have uh, an IP for it, last I heard about it. Anyways, love you guys. Peace and air grease. Adios.